Four crewmates in the saga, my dear friends, Max Levington, Hello. John Freeman, Aiden E. Gainey, um, okay. and Carter Foster. Howdy. Last we left off, in the middle of a chance encounter in a laboratory above the Taste of Herania Pizzeria, which was on a front, Production of a strange bioweapon, which uh, was demonstrated on the streets by um, loose experiments, um, is be is underway. Um, a strange material, a weapon uh, referred to by the scientist Aaron Cole as Dragon's Breath. Upon contact with the material used in the creation of this weapon, Enzo Reyes has a vision is contacted by a strange being. The rest of you are in this room, seeing Anzo staring into this glowing bead. The scientists gathered around you are startled. Uh, that, that, that should have exploded. What is going on? But we're in... So these scientists are working for Caliphate Studios. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so then these guys are not our, are not our friends. No, but they are... We're not murdering a room full of scientists, Aiden. Well, what, what makes you think Fermin Rosas would murder a room full of scientists? That's actually true. The fact like, that he's played by Aiden E. Gainey. What the... Okay, no. Um, sure. Fairman Fairman looks around at this situation, gradually becoming more chaotic. He doesn't know what's going on with Beadman sure. over here. Um, but he does know that the situation has to stay under control. So he carefully pulls out his Thunder Pulse pistol and points it in what are, you, what are you doing? general direction of the scientists and says, Vance or Cloud shoots at the ceiling and says, everybody Vance out. Vance or Cloud, <laughs> Vance or Cloud, uh, don't under, do that. Uh, don't, don't. Everybody do out. Don't everybody do out. Don't do that. Uh, 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 and they all start like five, they all start running um, towards the staircase to get downstairs. You're welcome. Vance, that was not what I wanted to, to do. These people are going to go around, they're going to report us. We need to keep the situation under control. And I step in front of the stairwell. Um, you catch a couple of the scientists uh, before they all... Do you want to catch all of them? Ideally. Ideally, you can catch all of them before they all start doing stuff. Um, okay, here. Gentlemen, ladies, let's calm ourselves here. The situation doesn't need to get out of control despite the best efforts of my compatriot. Let's You're all welcome. sit down on the floor <laughs> and we'll figure this out, okay? With respect, um, we, this man is about to blow us all sky high? Yes, um, Vance Earth Cloud, do not blow them all sky high. We will also be blown sky high. No, I was referring to the fellow in armor here. Yes, what is going on over there? He yes. seems, to be, seems to be peering deep into the orb. 
Enzo Reyes. Hello, Enzo. What? Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Am I seeing, like, what am I just, what, what am I seeing right now? What are my eyes doing? Um, you are seeing the interconnectivity uh, of all of these different pulsing hearts, uh, beating hearts of fire in the magma. What are you? What, what, am I, like, am I crazy right now? The guardian. Guardian of what? What you hold in your hand. You are now granted the vision of the marble of magma that you hold in your hand. You, you don't see your hand or anything like that. It just appears you know you can feel your fingers touching it. It's hot. All right. So is this what's in my head? In a way. Interesting. In a way, it is me. So, so it is in your head. what are you? Are you on getting that? And in you. What do you mean by that? You feel the, the streak of pain. Not searing pain, not pain that makes you, um, not pain that makes you, uh, afraid or, um, like, react as though you were feeling pain, but a pain that makes you react as though you were... Oh, right. Right. So that, or this. Why me? Not sure. I mean, there were, th what, there were three, four other people? I mean, I know Hunter's alive, and I don't... Do you know Hunter? You're in his head, too. He was not dead enough. The rest were too dead. You were. So I was like a mix. A medium rare steak on the deadness scale. Yeah, you should love steak. <laughs> you like pizza or in a pizza store? I'm afraid. I'm lactose intolerant. Ooh, that's rough. I know that game. Yeah. Uh, the rest of you see uh, this. one of the scientists goes. I think I know what's happening. Uh, we can get him out of whatever trance he's in. Okay, let's do that right now. But we have to be very... But we don't know whether or not when we do that, it will blow this place sky high. So just be ready. Um, Should we exit the building before we do this? Yes. Can we get a pizza to go as well so this isn't for nothing? We're very hungry, people. Yes. Uh, we don't actually have pizza. Then explain the boxes down. We saw pizza down there! One said for Johnny! Who, Who is Johnny? Johnny? Uh, one of the scientists raises his hand. Get him over here! Get him over! Get him over here! Get him over here! Uh, the, the rest of the scientists sort of part and let Johnny come through. Johnny, explain yourself! I, I, I ordered a pizza from like halfway across the system. It's our pizza now, Johnny. <laughs> oh, okay, take it. Fine. Look at me! I am the captain now! Your pizza's mine! I, okay, Pilot. okay. <laughs> what did you get on it? What did you get on it, Johnny? Okay, sausage, pineapple, oregano. Oh! Pineapple. Disgusting. Grilled peppers, steamed anchovies. You disgust me, Johnny. I, I figured that no one else would want it. I don't well, know. Well, now no one does. Uh, and you see the scientist uh, who was explaining how they were going to get him out of the trance. <laughs> steps goes, um, we have to play a frequency that will shut out whatever is inside of his head. Um, it's the same frequency that does, in fact, incite uh, the material, however. So uh, it would probably be... Uh, wise to exit the building immediately. I'll make you a proposition. No. I'll take all this fancy material off your hands for free. So on that issue, two birds with one stone. We don't have to worry about an explosion. How, how are you going to transport it? At any time we try to touch it, at any time you touch it, it explodes, which is why he's ho him holding it right now is the weirdest thing that could happen. Well, wait, wait, wait. Gentlemen, let's see if my little friend's going to be of service. Wait, if when this you touch it, it explodes, how did you get in here in the first place? Um, we transported it, like, in... Oh, so other material can touch it. It's yes. just human um, skin. We we uh, we're trying to encase them in metal and glass. 
gentlemen, and then uh, as I say that, my nanobots just like form up, you know, like in, in like into a massive like tiny sheet, little like little clumps, you yeah, know, okay. like little toy soldiers. They make themselves into actual like little nutcracker like shaped guys. Nice. And they all start like marching up to the substance and they like climb up uh, the wall. And they like push each other up. How much of that will be able to uh, carry? Um, they're, uh, not all of the stock in the, in the place, but yeah. all of the, like, little marbles, they can yeah. get all of those. Yeah. Nice. Um, if you would like, just for, like, you know, having samples. Exactly. Fantastic. Exactly. Um, to steal from them. Of course. Okay. Um, I'm going to need from you, David Coney. Yes, sir. An inta- a... Tool check. Yeah, a tool check with intelligence, based on intelligence. I get a bonus of, like, You get a, you get efficiency 11. with this. So, plus 11. Plus 11. Efficiency. Oh, efficiency? okay. Yep. Not proficiency, efficiency. Well, if weren't for my intelligence bonus as well, this would be really bad. That's going to be a 15. 15 total? No, 18. Wow. There 18. We go. 18. Oh, yeah. you are so lucky. Um, the DC was 17, uh, and you hit an 18. Uh, if he did not make that DC, all of you would be dead. And then we would have had to restart and the show. we would have gone to archery. Um... That was genuinely terrifying. Um, I rolled the 12 now. I want to see what uh, happens. <laughs> David Coney, yeah. your nanobots surge towards the material. Junior says, this material is highly volatile. If we touch it, it will explode. However, we can figure out a way to neutralize. If we can figure out a way to neutralize the material first, um, maybe with these stabilizers, yeah. we can keep it stable. We can keep it stable. You, like, same stabilizers that use the nanobots, the nanobots pulse with a weird rhythmic, um, like, a really uncanny rhythm that doesn't quite sound natural, but, um, as, as it, uh, passes over the metal marbles, they, uh, the magma marbles, they cool down and coalesce into little gray stones. Um, and the toy soldiers that are made out of your nanobots, go ahead, pick those up, gather them all together, form into, like, a one big robot with, like, a stomach full of it, um, and, uh, march right up next to you. Oh, your shield you. defender is now carrying these marbles and constantly keeping them stable. Now, Junior, I have a question. So, the scientists all look at you, go, how, what, how did you do that? A magician never reveals all of his secrets, folks. Now, Junior, I have a question. Can yes. we weaponize this? Is it more explosive than your traditional grenade? Um, Connie, don't. This is oh, obviously oh. not a safe thing to be used as a. You you come across this highly volatile substance, and your first thought is to turn it into a weapon. I'm disappointed. This obviously needs to be shut down. It was not my first thought, Mr. Rosa. It was obviously in your top five. Top five. It, 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 top five. It was my first thought. Exactly. Fans, I expect nothing less of you, but you are smart. I expect more. With that um, dichotomy going on, we move back. Anzo, you're continuing to have a discussion. So I'm assuming you're why I have these visions. Yes. How do you do that? How do you how do you see the future and why why only ten seconds and why? I mean, there's so many. I mean, I'm a doctor and. Medically speaking, this is... You are more than a doctor, Anzo. I mean, I've fought in wars, but... Prim- you are a soldier. Correct. You are a protector. Eh, yeah, i do some of that. You are a combat medic. Yes. That's you are a bodyguard. Mm, yeah, I think I did that once as a stint 16 years ago. You are... The perfect person. How do you know all that? You've been in my head for like 10 years. How do you, what? I know a lot of things, Anzo. I know things through people. I know things through you. So, so I'm the, what do you, if I'm the perfect, like, the person, then what do you want? What? I. I'm being moved. No, don't do that. No, stay here. No. I must go. What do you want from me? What do you... You will be contacted. No, get the... Get... Um, hold this marble. Um, 
you instantly snap back into attention. Oh. Go do that line again. I expected more f- f- from you, Connie. What? What is? Oh, do you, uh, does anybody out. know what this is? What culture that Scientists is highly go, volatile. Be careful. Be so careful. We don't know how this you're thing? able to hold that. You, any of us did it, it'd be exploding in our faces. Yeah, uh, it's it's kind uh, of warm. Good, it's maybe not... maybe put that down. But but it's like no, it's, 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 it's highly. I'm I'm. We're told it's highly volatile. We don't know what what. what I don't. Happen. The think... scientists look at you. Give it to him. Don't worry. Do not do your... not give it Junior, to him. Give it to everyone it else. I... Uh-huh. I'll be willing to take that off your hands. I real don't. Quick. Absolutely, do not give it to him unless you all want to die. I don't give it to me. I don't want to touch that. Just put it down. Or do what give it to John. Give it to, give it to Junior. Junior. Um, and I'll put up the receptacle. And put, I put it in there. I all the scientists shake my hand and I tuck it into my battle armor. And we detonate. And we all die. Oh, so, never mind. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what is going on, but. I, I was talking to something and it it spoke to me and it had something to do with it, this and and I don't I don't think it's going to explode. That's very interesting, but probably not our top priority. Um, we should figure out what to do with these but, with these. And I kind of gesture towards the array of about a half dozen scientists. Now, yeah, yeah. you see Vance or cl- you see me reach for my gun and clear my throat. <clears> throat> Vance, 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 give me the gun. You see, all the sci- scientists at this point have sort of like gone back to like looking at their computers, checking data, like how is this going on? But um, they don't. They, wait, <laughs> give me. Um, you give me an insight check. Ooh, I'm good at those. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Oh, mind you, I was not going to kill them. I was just going to do it. You were just going else. to make the situation much, much worse. Yes. I was just going to clear the premises by blowing up the premises. <laughs> uh, let's see. That is a uh, insight, you say? Yes. 23 total. Lovely. What the f***? Wow. Yeah, he's really, really good. He's um, very insightful. He's very street Vance, smart. Uh, I'm a very smart uh, man. Vance, uh, you're looking around at these scientists. They're all going back to their work. They're checking data. They're looking number. They're running numbers, and they're grabbing guns from uh, underneath the counters. Oh, oh well. Come. What did I say? Vance, you can. You can. They're all the bastards. But insight, because you rolled so well. These scientists, they know they cannot. Um, they they do not want to kill you. They're not going to kill you. Uh, it looks like they're going through. Do, do they not want to kill me specifically or us? They don't want to kill you okay. guys. They want to erase what is going on here. They are, from what you can tell, they're getting their guns because they're packing up and getting ready to hold you guys at gunpoint as they leave. Ah, uh, none of that, none of that, none of that. We don't need any, uh, uh, we don't need a little scuffle here. Why don't you all just like, and I take the gun and I like gesture, and they're like, why don't you like make your way in that general direction? We'll figure something out from there. Uh, where are you pointing with that general direction? Towards the down the stairs, yeah, yeah. Where, the, where, where the people don't, aren't. Yes, uh, you see they all they all go up. Uh, do I see any reach for a gun while I'm gesturing? Or do they make their way down the staircase? Uh, one of them uh, doesn't reach for a gun, but reaches to hit a button. I... Uh, you, as uh, this guy goes to reach for... Do I hear the click? Even, uh, you hear uh, a click, and you hear... Uh, um... <laughs> I can't make this noise with my mouth. I wish I could. Well, listen, I've heard you make a lot of noises with your mouth. I know, but it's the sound of you dragging a file into the trash bin on a Windows PC. Right. Um, It goes like... Yeah, it's like... It's like it's like crumpling up paper and throwing. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like a, it's like a. No one has paper here. I may have paper in my backpack, but we'll figure it out later. Doesn't matter. That's what you hear. Uh, my head snapped to him. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. And I pull out the little um, metal thing. And I flip it like a coin, basically. He presses the button. Mm. Oh, the master! Oh. Yeah, I gentlemen. really didn't want you to do that, folks. Like, and I go, I go, um, I run over to the computer, yeah. and I go, maybe he hasn't cleared the trash yet. All gone. Um, it, oh, well, it doesn't go into one of those, like, things where, oh, the, the, this recently, is a bit, but you've got to, like, clear the bit. Oh, uh, that was mis- recently deleted. Uh, Mr. Pony, your little uh, robot friend of yours, they were able to do some cool stuff with the ship over there. Are they able to fix it? Don't any worry, of this? gentlemen, I got this. I'm going to walk up to the, uh, computer? The receptacle and see if I can. 
You can't. No dice? Uh, no yeah, you may. Uh, go ahead. You know what? Uh, it's been deleted, so there's really nothing you can do. Um, in, in real life, if you delete something, it does not delete the data. Just, okay. Guess why don't what, you folks? go and roll a programming check? 24. Does not be to 27, which was the DC. Bastard! That's such bullshit. The communist bastard. Um... I, I must say, gentlemen, that's rather unfortunate. But since we have your ears and your eyes, I must ask, why did you delete that that data? It is incredibly sensitive Caliphate Studios information that I'm sure you are all here to uncover and use against us, and we cannot have that happen. And you're, sure, uh, and you're sure that we couldn't do anything with this fine thing that we have here? Junior Calf one up real quick, and I, I shake it like a Pokemon ball, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He looks at you. Uh, please be careful with that. Well, and why should I? Is, is there anything that I would need to know about this fine substance right here? It explodes! Beyond that, of course. That's the main reason why you should be careful with it. Well, there's other things I have to know, you know? Junior, I'm start throwing it, like, up in the air, you know, like, like catching my hand. Like, <laughs> roll I, a deck save. <laughs> I interrupt him, and I go, what are you doing with this? You're making explosives. What does it look like we're doing? This is a living thing. Is. Oh. It is. And I backtrack. Um. <coughs> okay. No. Paul, Paul, uh, Paul, Mr. Rose, Paul, I think you're Paul, you're backtracking. Um, Fairman is going to step into this situation and go, Gentlemen, 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 we came here for some information. We cannot leave without that information. And it seems that you've deleted it, so... To me, it seems the only way to get the information is for you to tell us. So, here, we can let you go, and you can tell us, or we can hold you hostage, and you'll tell us eventually. Charm the bastard. I might charm the bastard. Uh, you see, he looks at you. We deleted the schematics for Dragon's Okay, um, do you think that if I gave you a pen and paper, you would be able to recreate some notes on the schematics? No. No. Is he lying? Go ahead and give me an insight check. I've never rolled well on an insight check ever in my life. Well, my dice might be more promising than yours. No, you have the fancy dice, don't worry about Let's it. Let's see. Right, Come here on, we go. Zeus. The big plus two. 13, baby! 13 total? Yeah. <laughs> you think he, uh, you think he's telling the truth that he cannot, with a pen and paper, recreate, um, Dragon's Breath. Okay. What information can you give us? I can tell you that it's a weapon, it's intended to be, uh, implanted in one's neck and gives them the ability to breathe. We got that as much Ooh, so now. Hard, but that's not going to be good enough for us. Sir. Hold up, yeah, Mr. Rose. As as I, 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 I do, on, hold on, I do hold on, have a curiosity. Because, because guys, Why I, were there thugs, common street thugs, with your fancy new super weapon that you haven't been able to stabilize, and they made use of it, and quite obviously did not fare too well? Oh, did they explode? That is correct. And that, they, observation. They, they, they're all dead. Their hearts, their hearts raced too fast and they exploded. I we see. tried to get them not to explode. Well, you see, it, it, it is very hard to calm one's heart rate when imminent death is yes. on you. Though I must ask, when I was in the hand of what you would see as a common thug, they only had daggers or poorly shoddily dressed compared to at least this fine gentleman over here in his jacket. But We've been releasing and experimenting with how humans interact with the bioweapon for some time now, and wow. those experiments have not gone as well as we had hoped. My red. star is bright red So now. I kind of, I notice that, I kind of put my hand there, I, you know, try and calm, calm you down, and I say, quite, I, I get the sense that there's something you aren't quite telling me. So... I'm apologize for what I'm about to do. It won't hurt that much. Um, and out comes the um, charm person. May I? May I? If you don't have information to tell us, who in this room might have more information than you do? You see all the scientists sort of look at each other and a, the general consensus becomes uh, with, through like a bit of discussion that none of them know what this weapon is actually intended to do. And Where are you shipping it to? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put in the charm person before we keep asking you yeah, charm questions. So, uh, so in goes the charm per person. Um, do I have to roll anything? No. Uh, cool. Well, I have to make a save. It's a DC 14, yeah. 
Uh, no, it is a DC uh, 18. Ooh, jeez. Uh, okay, is it wisdom? Yes. Not gonna do it. Cool. Um, do one of them. Uh, I don't. I uh, yeah. I, I mean, uh, we're we just somebody shows up, grabs it, and takes it away. It's not a. Ray, do you contact them and, and and tell them to show up when you have a batch ready? Yes. Contact okay. them right now. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm while you're contacting them, why don't we go back through the list of questions? So number one, why are you making the weapon? I I don't know. Okay. Um. Because. How much do you, could you single-handedly, with the materials in this room, create the weapon? Without notes on the com computer? Not the completed version. Okay. Oh, absolutely not, without the notes on the computer. The I com deleted those. You said completed version. Is there a completed version? There were these I'm not supposed to say that. There will be. Well, we're, we're, we're friends here. Yeah, sure, whatever. No, we're not friends. Come on. And... Okay, so let's get to the bottom of this. Again, could you write down some general notes on the schematics? I mean, yeah, sure, I could. Uh, okay, do, do that. Once yourself? you're done doing this thing for my good friend, the, doc the good doctor, hmm? you were... What write... am I supposed to do for the, for the doctor? Uh, you've contacted uh, the person who picks up the shipment, right? Uh, y yes, I have. Great. Uh, they're gonna pick up the new batch. The There's a new batch. I told them that we were being held hostage. Oh. Great job, Doctor. Perfect. Yes. So, uh, here's what you're gonna do now. You're gonna say sorry. That was a typo. I meant we are be We have just ordered a sausage pizza. No. And I go. I go. I go. Give me the phone. Uh, no, 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 no. Do you want me to do the thing or give him the phone? Uh, give first. Give first. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, are you sure about I'm this, Doctor? Said, yes. And I want to... I can't write <coughs> any notes down anymore, so I, I want to <coughs> scroll through the message history to see the conversations with Zim and... Um, while you're doing that, that Fairman produces a so. pen and paper and hands it over to the, um, to the scientist. So carry that thing around, that thing's a relic, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Sch Condemned schematics. How the hell does this thing... Oh, oh. It's cool. Ancient oh. te technology. Oh, my handwriting looks awful without the corrections. But feel it glide. Feel it glide across the paper. It's atrocious. It's not readable. But it's readable. What is it made of? Dead tree? It's like, it's like the doctor hand right. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay. Um, <laughs> nothing. Uh, all of it's been erased. All right. Now give that to me, please. What no, do don't give it to him. No. Uh, what was the last method? The oh, we need to make sure there was um there was. We a, have to say sausage pizza, or else there's gonna be some bad people coming soon. Uh, there was a uh, there was a a. a like a package um, export um, uh, notice. It was like, okay, we have we have um, we have a batch. Um, we need test subjects. All right, I send a message. We have a batch. We need test subjects. Uh, you're sending it after. Yep. No, 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 no. no. Yep. Give it's me a social gracious. networking check with disadvantage. Yep. I deserve that. But, but there's just a message that says we're being. Yep. You, can just, say, you can just say sorry, pizza, bad, bad joke from uh, Jerry. Oh, yeah, sorry. You get the help action, cancels out the yep. disadvantage. Uh, Johnny, Johnny's jokes are as bad as his pizza tastes. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then uh, LOL. New batch done, LOL. New batch done, we need test subjects. Roll without disadvantage, you can have that back. Yep. Uh, 16. <laughs> uh, 16 total? Okay. Um, it's big. No response. What, what are is Vance doing right now? What is Vance doing? <laughs> what uh, is Vance doing right now? Okay, so what I'm thinking is, <clears throat> I think they're still coming here. Uh, I think it might be a good idea for these people to all act like they just they're back to work. How do you normally work when they are when these people arrive to take a shipment? Uh, I mean, we are, <clears throat> you know, ready. We're ready to present. Everything's been encased in glass and iron, and we sort of uh, uh, package them all up uh, the the most the tightest we can and get them. Um, so there's nothing on the table right now. That good. That's good. That works for us. How would I you don't all be know acting? if it does work. I think it's going to be pretty clear that these this is not stuff that's normal. I think our best opportunity is going to get them to step inside of the establishment and quickly dispatch them. You know, when they come to re receive a shipment, what are you all doing at that time? I mean, we're waiting for them to get here. And we have sort of, you know, we have all of the... Uh, equipment in, in case fires start, and we, uh, you know, uh, we seal, uh, we seal the uh, block basically. 
You see Act it. like they have, we have, you have a shipment coming, uh, prepared, and that people are coming to pick it up. And why should we do anything that you tell us? I do the thing again. Everybody listen to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you talking to the charmed one? I'm talking to the entire crowd at this okay. point. Yeah, because I need the them entire all to crowd. Like the, the charmed guy's like, he's like, cool, all right, yeah, cool, sure, we'll go. do everything. And they're all just ignoring the charmed guy because the charmed guy's not it's charmed. Yeah. He's yeah. obviously on um, drugs. Okay, he's obviously on drugs. We need, when these people arrive, we need them to think that this is a normal shipment that is completed, which means that we need you, big, strong do bastard. Me, do you want me to intimidate them? No, no, remove, get rid of the dead bodies at the entrance. No, Mr. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. I and feel like we've neglected one important detail oh. of their procedure. Yes. They locked down the entire block, so we will be locked in this room for this hollow, highly volatile Translation, Van Sword Cloud. Black Arrow. Uh, hello there. Hey, Vance. Uh, it's Anna. We, uh, you guys need to get back here now. Um, I think, I think, did someone contact Caliphate Studios? Uh, that, that might be our bad. Did somebody yeah. contact Caliphate Studios, Doctor? Um, I might have contacted Caliphate Studios. He might have contacted Caliphate Studios. Oh, so, oh, so, I, uh, so I've engaged convention. stealth mode. Um, I took the liberty of jumping into the pilot seat. I hope that's okay, Vance. Uh, they, na- we narrow. They narrowly missed us. Are you mad? Are you mad? Stay in stealth like mode. Uh, it sounds prepare- like you're mad at me. I'm sorry. Stay in stealth mode. Prepare for us to come back. Don't se- don't make any contact and get it out of my goddamn chair. Okay, got it. Everything's um, all right, Anna. Everything's going to be okay. And prepare some hors d'oeuvres when we get back. Uh, she's not. A, do she's that. A- you don't have a. You don't have a kitchen. I. All right. I'll be. You know I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> kitchen. Not. Or some it. shots as well. <laughs> not one. That I can get behind. Okay. Uh, she. Uh, cuts the transmission. Um. You guys are left alone there. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, get the dead bodies out of the doorway. Wait. Uh, I go to the charmed one and I go, hey. When we were entering uh, the this 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 establishment, we were asked for a password. What is the password? Oh, uh, yeah. So basically, anyone Ooh, who has to enter. Um, uh, the uh, pretty much anyone who has to enter has to ask if uh, you guys have sausage pizza. If you have sausage pizza, excellent. All right, and then I go downstairs and I see the dead guard and I put on the Caliphate Studios uniform. Is it in your sauce? Uh, Way that's a small. bad idea. How bad of an idea? Because it's a suit that doesn't fit you. You'd have to take off all your armor. Uh, Maybe it I do should that. do it. I, I, I no, Fairman a rippling scar. Okay, okay, Fairman, okay, hold, hold on. on. Fairman can pull it. Fairman will do it. Fairman is a master of deception, and he can fit into suits. I have an idea. I pick up Fairman, and I walk- uh, You can just tell me where I, to and go. And I walk him downstairs, <laughs> and I set him down, and you I- You undress Fairman. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I do undress the dead body, and I hand you the clothes, and I haul it back inside. As you're doing that, um, you, uh, footsteps. Uh, and I go, uh, uh, Fairman, uh, get into those clothes as quickly as possible. People are I'll wait in front of the doorway to, to welcome them. Right. The password, you're going to ask yes. for the password. So before this happens, since David has a tech convention with these folks, he's going to cast a disguise self so that he doesn't have to do mm. the awkwardness of saying, <laughs> hey, <laughs> the awkwardness of being a hey, wanted criminal. You know, well, I broke into your place. I stole all of your stuff. You know, that sort yeah, of yeah. thing. Reggie, nice to see you again. Um, here's the plan. I'll, I'll be waiting at the doorway. I'll ask for the password. They'll yes. give me the password and I'll gesture them upstairs. I'll leave the building. While this is all happening, you're going to climb out of the window. This is going to give us the maximum amount of time to f***ing run back to the ship. And I mean just run. And I take, I say, uh, Coney, can you give me one of those orbs? I need an extra. Uh, well, I mean, you didn't give me your orb. Why don't I give you my orb? <laughs> Coney? Why would you norm? Well, I'm gonna ask it something, and then if it get, it says I can, then I'm gonna um. You got the one in your pocket, man. Well, just give him the f***ing orb. Carter. This one I talked to. That one I need for a different reason. Alrighty then. Here you go. And I grab it. God, and I have no intent of paying it. Cool. And I go. Uh, hey, can, can you hear me? Um, I, I I don't know if you can hear me. I don't. But maybe you can. I'm going to um throw you into the building after we leave it, and you're gonna blow up. I really hope that's okay with you. Is that okay with you? Lights up and starts pulsing. You hear. Amazing. Oh my god, I farted. <laughs> and, and oh, okay, hold on. Are we gonna kill all of these people? 
In the hallway, not in the pantry. No, I'm detonating in the hallway. So what we're gonna do is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lead them upstairs. You're gonna say the password. They're gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna throw in the hallway, cause a like a like a close in. That's gonna cause a chain reaction. That's gonna kill it. Whatever. Well, it's it's there, is there one chain reaction? I'm not saying I'm opposed to it because we need to erase evidence. Yeah. Connor, they're not good people. Awesome. The plan stands. Um, I will welcome them upstairs while you guys are running out of the window. This is in an old pizza parlor. There are windows that you can climb out of. You're going to climb out. Please, for the love of you can God, hit the be rusty quiet. fire escape. What's up? You can hit the rusty old fire escape. Cool. Quiet. Awesome. Quiet. Sorry? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not done. I'm going to beckon them upstairs. I'm going to leave. At this point, you're going to be in the front of the building and you are going to accurately throw one of those little beads into the window. It will explode. The entire pizza parlor will explode, erasing all footsteps. They will go in to investigate it and we will not appear suspicious because we'll just be passersby. Amazing. And then I'm going to keep my jacket with me so I can quickly ditch it um, after I welcome them inside so that people who go to investigate the blast won't notice me wearing a Calvin Studios jacket. Yep. Now, okay, cool. I uh, turn to you and I go, um, Fairman, yes, uh, the orbs gave me the go. I can detonate them. You're speaking Good to know oh, that the orb has approved. That you, they, you don't have time for this. Let's go. We don't have time. Ben jumps out the window and rocket boots as fast as possible. No, Ben, 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 We're doing this methodically. You don't need me for I, anything. Ben, Ben. Make me a stealth check. I don't, I grab Ben by the ankle ben. before I can jump. Make me a stealth check. You guys. I should have done that. Ben! John! We have a plan! I was following the plan! That's not the plan! <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna do anything, we need my name. If you fail a stealth so, uh, check. 12. Okay. That's not very stealthy. I didn't say Don't do that. Okay. okay. Um. Make a tackle. <laughs> I think you guys should just be frustrated. <laughs> so oh. be in character. Be in character. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see you fly out the window. Be in character. <laughs> what? You just oh. hear a crash. Wait, wait, wait. I have this final plan. A cat who's in a dumpster meow. Okay, says, shut up. Everyone shut up. I'm um, pissed now. The, the uh, plan is not completely in general. Oh, well that's f***ing good to hear then. <laughs> Perfect. Um, what's your armor class? Uh, uh, 17. Oh, you lucky duck. Um, 16. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, uh, your rocket boots slow your fall. Um, you see somebody aiming a sniper at you on the rooftop, um, to the side, and you just cut your rocket boots, drop five feet at a sniper, like a, ra an actual round, metal round, passes just over your hair mm. as you land on the ground. Not fun. Duck not fun. behind a building. Um, uh, the rest of you? Can I just watch the... like him fly out the window. Okay, so, so... And I'm assuming some alarm is just gonna start blaring. <laughs> I'm now. sorry! So, I'm like, so Fairman is sitting in front of the he front no door. Idea. Um, he's yeah. got no idea because I don't even want to inter... I don't want to interface with that. Um, yep. So he's no now wearing full Calvin Studio fit. Yep. Um, he's concealing his actual jacket. There was an earpiece uh, through the earpiece. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Agent V2, are you copying? Indeed. Did you notice any movement? You didn't. I did not notice any movement. Uh, very well. There was, um, I think a scientist just jumped out of the window with some weird tech. Oh, thank God. Okay, hold on. L l let me cook for a second. Um, Can you... Sorry? Something, something, uh, something was worrying. Uh, are you sure what's going on inside? Can you give me a deception yeah. check really quick? Just like general deception. Yeah, like, okay. This isn't going to like make or break you. You're, this plan it is going to give me a base. That's going to be an 18. Oh, plenty. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, we were, um, we were contacted, uh, by a scientist. There was some, there was, there was word that there was a hostage situation and then we were called in for retrieval of 
a batch of the package. What is what is the oh, situation? Um, stupid scientists. I think they're so clever. They were trying to play a practical joke. They get bored sitting here all day. Uh, but we do actually have a batch that needs picked up. Very well. Uh, we will send a um, we'll send a party through. Cool. Do you want me to ask for the passcode still at the front door? Um, one hundred percent. Yes, just cool. in case. Understood. All right, I'll be away. Be away, I think. I just, John, you nearly f***ed me. <laughs> I thought this was the plan. You said go John, out the window. don't you dare open your bitch mouth in front of me again. Uh, you shut up, Trevor, for now. Enzo, I'll deal with you later. Enzo and, uh, Enzo and Cody, right. uh, what's going on? I'm, I just stare at you like, what the frick just happened? Because we saw him, I was like, fly like Superman, sell out the window, like, da 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 I am Vettel Cloud! da 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 and into a dumpster. <laughs> um, that isn't what we were doing, right? That wasn't... I don't think that was part of the that, plan. That no. wasn't part of the plan. Okay, no. the fireman calls up and says... <laughs> and I Gentlemen, thought, did, some, did a scientist just jump out of the window? Well, no, I, would, I would say he's that much of a scientist. I don't give that much credit. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear from the Paul, from the back alley... Captain. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I look out over the window and I, I see him, right? And yeah, I, um, are you <laughs> staking your head? No, I'm no. so angry I'm, still. <laughs> I'm genuinely upset. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it, it's I'm, okay. I'm just like, okay. Okay, um, yeah, so this I don't, is wild. I don't stick my head out the window, I kind of just like, like, look to see if I can see him at that angle. Um, um you cannot see Van Zorkler anymore. Good. <laughs> um, I I call down to um, Batman. Hey, Batman, let us know when they get to about halfway to the stairs at Fumble Bale. Okay, I'll have a signal. Um, okay, um, the signal will be... Um, okay, what's the signal gonna, gonna be? Um, the signal should just say very loudly, uh, Johnny, this pizza nasty. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Anything from David Coney? Um, I mean, it was crank. That that took a lot of good uh, calculus and trajectory to fly out like a rocket ship into the dumpster through um, the window. At this point, I thought, I thought you so were the only. I thought you were the only one with voices in your head. It takes My genius goodness. to be that fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. um, we had to take so this hand sanitizer away. <laughs> I spent five minutes drafting like the fucking Ocean's Eleven master plan. That's like part of the plan. Drops out you the window. You <laughs> said to go out the I window. Okay. Go. okay. 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 Alright. Now, in real time, mm -hmm. the plan is going to start to unfold. Okay. Okay. Um, not unravel, unfold. <laughs> down the street. Yep. Um, are a group of agents with um, a, uh, a, a, a group of uh, Caliphate Studios agents, gray suits, orange ties, um, and a Caliphate Studios scientist uh, with like a lab coat that looks armored and shielded sure. um, and has a briefcase um, alongside him. Um, uh, they all walk up to you. Um, the and, I'm, and I'm inside of the door, to be clear. Uh, you're, are you, you're inside? Or are you um, standing just outside the door? I'm standing just inside the door, um, in the same way that uh, we met with the person. When yeah. they knocked on the door and they, like, did this slider and... Yeah, Fantastic. Cool. Uh, you, uh, the agent, uh, this female agent, steps up to the door, knocks. Do you have sausage pizza? Um, I open up the slider and say, Indeed we do. Welcome in. And, and as I step in, I say, sorry for the passcode, it's just procedure, agent. Oh, we know the procedure, thank you. And uh, this this guy, what's he called again? Johnny. Johnny. This guy Johnny, I mean, he does this stupid prank, this hostage prank, he orders this terrible pizza, and I, and I go and I open up the, the pizza box and I say, Johnny, this pizza nasty. And one of the agents goes over to the goes over to the pizza, uh, looks at it, and goes, "What devilry?" And Johnny, I mean, really, we should look at whether or not we're going to renew Johnny's contract. I mean, this is this is terrible stuff. Uh, the door closes behind you. What's going on? We're diving out the window. <laughs> 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 and, um, 
I yeah, I dive. Uh, there's a fire escape, right? Yep. I there's don't dive out the window. I just go. Um, you know, you know how there's like the inside ledge outside. Yeah. I kind of cr- climb over it and then I just hide right there. So I'm like right crouched under the yeah. fire escape. Give me a stealth check with advantage. Dice. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'll check with the uh, Oh, oh well, that okay. is so much better than I thought. Oh, okay. um, oh I'm really well. That's never well. Well, <laughs> well. Uh, Dan Cody, how do you get out that window? Well, David, he's just gonna cast invisibility and then just walk out. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Yeah. Um, um, Anzo, you are like that was the signal. Uh, you open up the window, slide out. Um, uh, turn around. David, are you coming? And David is nowhere to be seen. Uh, and I, uh, I look around and I go, uh, uh, and I look behind me and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna hope that he got far away because this thing is about to blow. But you like uh, jump out the window, um, like throw your nanobots like as ropes. Yeah. Up, oh, like, that's, that is so cool. That's so cool. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> Land like, down. Spike. Um, the, they, all, all of them are like retro, uh, like retro reflective cloaking. Yeah, um, they, they, they can't get picked and Spider-Man, just, he's invisible. And you just, and you just walk down the street yeah. and watch like snipers on the buildings with their lasers, like try and like find different things. I'm just going to find a bistro for an outdoor veranda, have a nice lunch, sit back, put my feet up. Like, on a- <laughs> Not in a veranda style <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get myself a sandwich. I'm just going to sit back and watch them, you know, like watch the show. You can feel the faint feeling of... Of <laughs> nanobots rumbling. I'm, I'm gonna approach this bistro. At this point, wait, 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 Fairman. Fairman. So, so are they going up the the stairs? Uh, you see, there were three agents and the um, scientist. The scientist says, "You two with me. You stay here." Um, and uh, the female agent says, "Looks like we're gonna be friends for a couple minutes." As the two of them close the door. Where am I going? Oh, okay. So the female agent is still here. Yep. The other two have closed the door and are walking up the stairs. Okay. This is the time that you should be sprinting. Okay, so in I have a real time right now. Okay, go. I'm gonna like just slam a charm person in. Uh, boom. Uh, she's gonna make a she's gonna make a save. Yeah. She fails. How many of these bastards do okay. you have? Okay. Um, and I and I whisper into her her ear. The hell do you? What are you doing? Stay here and tell them everything is fine. <laughs> and then I just fucking leg it. <laughs> um. She uh, looks. She looks. She goes. Uh, go ahead and give me a persuasion check with advantage, uh, because it, you because that's how the charm. <laughs> now let me just remind you. I get plus ten to my persuasion checks. Yep. Take that. Take that. Persuasion and you have advantage. Okay. Uh, twenty. So we're looking at a at a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. That's plenty. Um, and you see, she uh, she goes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. No. Uh, everything's fine. What do you mean everything's fine? Everything is not fine. Um. Get your guy. What's he doing? Uh, he's he's leaving. He said. Do I hear any of this? Well, yep. okay. I'm right. I'm I, I'm already gone. You're gone. I jump up into the window so they all see me, yep. right? Hey, what the hell? Hello. I take the orb. I throw it at them, and I shield like this so that the blast knocks me backwards. I am going to prepare my sniper from the trash can that I am currently inside. Nice. Of. Um, somebody, uh, you throw a tiny glowing bead through the room. Slow motion. No. You shield your eyes, and um, your through your armor's blasted back. You feel your shields breaking the wrought iron of the, uh, of the fire escape behind you. As you slam into the brick, powder uh, like in, like rubs off against your shield as you slam into the ground. Uh, you are going to take... Yes, yeah, so the thing detonates, um, and my uh, green star flares up red, and I, I manage to whisper, uh, thank you. 36 divided by 2, you take 18 points of fire okay. damage. Yeah. That's f***ing nothing! Yeah, that's nothing. That actually is nothing. You slam into the brick wall, um, <laughs> land on the, um, land on the, uh, pavement. Um, the building is, it just, is a forge. It's just fire everywhere in a torrent through it. Um, Dave yeah, Coney, you're just sidling down. Uh, yeah, I'm in my chair. I'm in my chair. I'm saying, I'll take the check. Um, <laughs> Aren't you still invisible? Yep. Oh, oh, I thought I was at a bistro now. Oh, you you just stop in it. You step, you yeah. kick open the door. Uh, hey guys, I need a sandwich. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm at the veranda. I'm sitting down there. I wanted to watch this happen. I got myself a seat. Got myself a beverage. I got myself a sandwich, and I now want the check. check. You, uh, you get your check. You sign off on it. You step out into the street. Fairman is booking it past oh, you. Oh, and and by the way, as I'm booking it past him, I yeah. I throw my jacket over my, my myself and touch a little subtle button in the inside, and I just go invisible. Now, uh, uh, Van Zork Cloud. I am covered in trash. <laughs> in covered in trash, booking it down the street. You're, I am covered in trash. I am utilizing my thing that allows me to dash. I am utilizing the full power of my rocket boots. I am getting to the Black Arrow before anyone else here. Yeah, you get to the Black Arrow. Um, I, and when I, as soon as I get there, I'm powering up all the engines and stuff like that. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, you start powering up all the engines. Anna um, was like, listen, I'm so sorry. Your chair's just really freaking comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you're not jealous. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> um, uh, yes. Um, uh, she she like she's sitting in her, her her chair. She's got like everything on standby. So you just hit buttons and it just starts firing up. Um, uh, she's like, it took me a really long time to figure out how this console works, but actually, it's really intuitive. This is so cool. Um, thank you for not. Thank you for bringing me along on this. I'm sorry. A bullet hits the glass. No. No! Um, and she goes, ah! Okay. Jesus. Okay. Connor, do Connor. not kill Anna. <laughs> Mother, do Fuck not her. kill Anna. You scared the shit Anna, out of Anna me. Anna is, is too lovely. Um, no killing Anna. She stays. <laughs> she <laughs> stays. I'm so scared. Um, you, fu you fucking go cruel soon. bastard. Anzo, I need you on gun stat. I immediately, so I, I hit the ground. My shields are still up. That didn't mm -hmm. hurt me at all. Uh, so I it, is is Anzo all the way back at the bistro at the? I'm twenty feet away. Booking it as well. Uh, does rage enhance speed? Uh, no. Great. I am booking it as well. I get into the ship. I go. You haven't shown me where the guns are. Where are the guns? Uh, they're right in front of you. As I go. There are the guns. And I, <laughs> and I go. I don't really see things well when I'm raging. I kind of just see death. Yeah. Um, future death. <laughs> see there, <laughs> death. <laughs> I sit in the chairs and uh, some like just my time in the army. Uh, I'm very acquainted with this tech, and I start working on the guns. And is there a target? Full heads up display comes up the entire street. Um, little uh, crosshairs start zooming in on snipers on the roofs, um, and the turrets pop out of the top of the. Yep, I start targeting the fire. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me uh, five attackers. Um, I have the ship. Fairman and David Coney, you guys enter the ship. Um, I do. I, one I, presumes you want to leave at some point. So let's say you enter the, the ship, huh, bud? Yes. Cool. You, you do. You do want to I know. Get do you need okay. the ship's character um, sheet for anything? Because I have this here. I, uh, oh, he needs the attack rolls for the ship's character. So, so the first thing I do upon entering the ship is I get naked and I change into my actual clothes. Yep. He's standing there right in front of me and just strips naked. Great. Yep. You, you just like start and I have an a clear in on my... your coat. Um, you have an eclair in your in what, my hand. Why? Three, three attack rolls. Um, Double the six because of my reckless attack. Uh, you're rolling them with advantage. Great. So you're not making six attacks, you're rolling them with advantage. Three with advantage. Uh, yes, and each attack is 1d6 plus your dex the worth of infrared ultraviolet damage. And you can overload it and make two extra attacks and deal the hearts and thermal damage if you like. Um, Connor. Yeah. I got two nat 20s and an 11. Two nat 20s. Very quickly, you target fire. Uh, blast a uh, sniper off the roof. Dead. Another one. Boom, dead. The other one, another one, um, goes, huh? Uh, ducks underneath, uh, like, ducks, uh, beneath, like, the brick, um, guard that's maybe, like, this, this high, mm -hmm. um, ducks to the side, and you blast through the brick, showering, uh, and he, like, ducked and ducked to cover. Uh, his sniper rifle is destroyed. And, uh, Fairman is David, fully changed back into his normal clothes. And David that, Coney, what are you doing? Enjoying a sandwich and an eclair. Uh, lovely. Um, I'm going in the to, ship, or are you still at the goddamn shop? In the ship now. I, I am going to, go. to rush back to my chair in the uh, cockpit. In the go cockpit. time? Go uh, time? Go time? Go go time. Go. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go to the engine room. Vets, we're clear from snipers. Beep!
Uh, David Tony, uh, you're looking at the the reactor bay of yeah. uh, Black Arrow, and there are some things that uh, if you like, you can get onto the computer and you can pull up some things, and you can just flood power from the central power unit into the thrusters for Panzer uh, to get. I'm just not gonna tell him. I'm just gonna like max the engine so You stuff. just divert like tons of power from like communications like, to engines, and like uh, Anna and uh, 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 Anna and Fairman are like. Uh, why is everything so dark all of a sudden? And Vans, you just I just have a rumble. I just have like the happiest grin <laughs> yeah. on my face. Fairman, the cons have yeah. gone dark. Is everything okay? Farming. <laughs> <laughs> and we just shoot into the sky. Uh, any rolls you need to make or no? Uh, give me. Uh, so actually, I need I need a uh, I need a engineering uh, programming check from you, yeah. uh, David Coney. To... Oh wow, not one. <laughs> oh shit. No. Um, you drain all the energy like away you from the rest of the Like you do, do the you I drop. don't need a now. I don't need a programming check. I'm so sorry. I need a D8. Oh well, isn't that lucky? I need a D8. Plus your intelligence modifier. That's me. that is a D8. Yeah. Because you're dumb. using a feature, you're not rolling a check. Uh, that's gonna be a twelve. Uh, twelve. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's good. That's uh, so your speed good. increases by yeah. sixty feet. Um, well, that's fun. For you for the dura- for the duration for the round, right? It's so one hundred now. Yeah. So you uh you pop up off the ground, spin um Vance, you get a bunch of new power, hit the hit the uh, thrusters and um. Similarly, uh, like last time, there were some Caliphate Studios foot soldiers that were running, and they just get thrown oh. across the street and leave bloody trails. Just can I roll for damage for them just for fun? Uh, no, they're dead. I don't have the like what da- what kind of damage it would be. Like pirate roll, pilot roll. Uh, yeah, give me a piloting check. Do I um, advantage or anything because the extra power? Or no. Uh, no. Uh, okay, that's, that's why you have. Oh, this is gonna be a big number, not as big as I want it to be, but that's uh nineteen. Plus fifteen. That is twenty-four. Plus three. Plus three. That's a thirty. No, it is. That's a dude. Third. Nineteen plus fifteen. No, is sorry. Nineteen 34. plus five. Nineteen plus five. I meant to say. Okay. Nineteen plus five is twenty-four. Plus three. Plus three. That's thirty. Okay. Um. Uh. On a. We, we going, boys. On a shout out. Watch the building, and you're just like, no, no, I got it. You're just like, you, you're like fully looking like this, um, and you got the steering wheel. No, no, don't worry. And I, Why I, am I looking um, back? Um, and uh, and you got to get backwards, and then you just like pull it back, and you guys shoot up into in um out of Aragon Eight, um, and you guys are headed for the Aragon Prime Tech Convention, I presume. Fantastic. And do do we know that, about the Aragon Prime Tech Convention? Um, well, you guys, mm, I shouldn't say that you guys are headed for it right immediately. I should say you guys are clear of Caliphate Studios. Um, where are you? Uh, you all have the freedom to decide where you all want to go. All right. Well, first things first, as I walk out of the end room, I go by the closet, I take the sandwiches I got to go, and I I, I give them to the uh, the Vances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 they're not. They're in the back room, aren't they? They are, um, actually... Oh, we gotta check in on Science Hippie. Yeah, yeah check in on Science Speaking of, I don't know I go you, in the, I'm, I'm gonna go in there first. I need a long rest. I'm gonna go in there first, because I'm not entirely comfortable if you don't like what... It, like the, I'm gonna see if she's still alive. You know that's. Yeah, thing. she's still alive. She's sitting there. Um, right. I'm gonna bring her a sandwich. You bring her a sandwich. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna give one, one to the Vances. Yep. Uh, the Vances all. How long does that extend their ration? The Vances all say, "Lunch break." Yes, sir. I, I got you covered. Um, they all exit the uh, premises. Going Careful, to the other Vances will form a union. Mm-hmm. <laughs> go, go, <laughs> go into their. Yes, car. sir. Unite. Yes, sir. Unite, Vances. <laughs> the Vances of the world unite. <laughs> My children. Um, Seize the means of production. David Coney. Seize the means of Vance. <laughs> um. What do you want, David Coney? I don't want anything. I mean, I do want to know if I'm going to be. Screwed over, and whenever I go to his tech next, you're not going to assume as much that I will. I have no clue what what's going to happen at the tech convention. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, it's great seeing you. I I don't know what we're going to do with you. You'll probably just chill in here for a while. You'll probably eat some wonderful food, and like these bistro sandwiches on the regular. She sure. takes it. Served by yours truly. See, I it's French baguette, uh, laid with some uh, wonderful ham roast, some. Uh, and of course, laying with tomato, lettuce, and uh, some as well. So, saute now. Do enjoy. I'm not hungry. She drops it. All right, well, you'll get to eat that later, but eat before it goes stale. Uh, 
I don't know if I should leave you some newspapers like we do for the advances, but I'd assume you'd like something a bit more dignified. Uh, Here's a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Well, it's one step up from the newspaper. So, the advances let me go to the bathroom. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Bastards. And I am curious about those fellas. Do you know anything as to their mental functioning? I'm assuming you did a little bit of stunning whilst you were there because you had nothing else to do. So. Well, I was able to You have a out. thesis, I'm sure. I was able to figure out what a barn was doing to them. Oh. To turn do, them into these robots. Do tell. Yeah, basically he's just sort of replaced their brains with like very low level computers. Nothing like your artificial intelligence. He hasn't been able to figure that out yet. You're you're a step ahead of him in that regard. Fantastic. He's always regarded you as an enemy. Well, I wish I could say the same. But uh Look at you taking the moral high ground. Well, one has to. Is it who invited you to the tech convention this year? Uh, Mr. Fewer, of course. As you know, he and I go a little bit back, but it's a bit odd seeing him for the first time forever, and I can't just help but feeling like I'm going to be fleeced the second I touch down, so. Oh. Uh, he, he's working on the planetary project. I see, I see. Does the the need for stabilization have anything to do with these guys? And I pull out one of those, like, orbs that we just grabbed from, uh, the base. Oh, wow. Thinking about using that for the core of the planet. Uh, we'll see. I don't know what this really is yet. I'm going to do some my own research, as you know. One scientist to another. But um, maybe you can tell me something about it. Do a little bit of thinking while you're here. And see if see if we can keep you around. How much did you just let me go right now? How much? Money isn't an object for me, as you know that. Unfortunately. No, no, no. I wasn't talking about money. Oh. How much do you want to know about that? Oh. Everything. Everything I know. Everything you know. Well, we can start with the fact that it's a chemical compound, and a mixture of substances that fuse together during the destabilization of getting got. Um, it's not stable. Um, but it's mined directly from the core of getting got. Um, somehow, it resists being mined, it, it fights back. Uh, we have to, it's a constant battle every day to get a, get as much of the material as we do. Um, we're going to use it to create weapons. Um, they're going to the Royal Guard, that's all I know. Very nice. Well, thank you for... It's part of um, the Knights Templar's deal with the Monarchy. Uh, well, as always, thank you very much for your cooperation. I mean... You, right. Caliphate Studios always does a great deal of business with us in New Cancun, so if you ever, if you ever learn anything new and you're not thinking of trying to uh, actively steal my technology or anything along the lines, stop by New Cancun. We'll see what, what happens. I'd love to. You'll let me free at the tech convention. I'll let you free right now. How? We're in the middle of dead space. And here we go, folks. <laughs> 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 yes! yes! No! Don't do it! Take that science hippie! Whoa! Uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, I just said that to joke around. I'm not actually gonna. No! Oh, was gonna, that do would it! Be really funny. Do um, it! It would have totally derailed. I would have been so pissed. I, I would have. I would have been. Hey, Carter. Yeah. Hey, Carter. That would have been. Hey, Carter. Oh, oh God! I thought that was the soda, not the water bottle. Oh, perfect. Ah, oh, don't worry. We'll send you to New Cancun first. That seems like a wise idea. Uh, you you seem like you'd be in, you're an excellent personality. I think you do good on a game show of sorts. What? Ah, oh, no worries. Don't worry about it. We'll see you in New Cancun. What do you, what do you mean? Nothing at all. Uh, and you close the door and get out of there. Yeah. Um, Hold on. What do you mean, game show? Nothing. Don't worry. Because because what I will say is Fairman is waiting in the in the kind of... Foyer there, for lack of a bad word, to speak with um. No, um, he uh, he was just waiting there uh to take a call with uh Captain Holt. So you would not be listening to any of this. No, um, but do I hear the game show thing as he nope. walks out? Okay, cool. Because he closed the door behind him. Okay, okay um, one thing I do want want to say then. Yeah. Um, Mr. Coney, how did that go? When well, she seems that she's not very hungry, though, which is unfortunate. Maybe the Vance gave her some Oreos. I mean, we gotta tighten our belts around here, anyways. But, um, 
Yeah, Miss. Did you learn anything new from her? Anything valuable? Learned a couple of things. Apparently, those orbs are being used for the uh, Imperial Royal Guard, as we suspected. So, mm. beyond that, nothing too special. Oh, and I come up from the stairs and I go, "Hey, I need to talk to you about those orbs. I mean, need to borrow all, all of them." All of them. No, no, uh, can't do. I already gave you one. Yes, you no, no, of course, of course. And the, this is a simple. Uh, 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 I simply want to borrow it. You will be in the room beside me. I think. Hmm. I kind of need all of them because I need to feel a bigger presence. Cody, I simply want to lay them out on a table, just like we did at the at the, the laboratory. So if I'm not mistaken, you believe you can speak with these beads? I don't believe... I, I did. Okay. They're not beads. For a moment, I think your man servant's also schizophrenic, but I, we'll leave it at that. Uh, no! Me, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Kony. Uh, we've seen that his strange scar has a reaction with these beads. It I would say be. that and he some, seems to be the, the, the leading expert in them almost. As a matter of science, I can't help but say I have to watch this. You know, just for my own purposes. Something that Aaron said comes back to you. It likes to fight back. It's a battle every day to get this, to get more of this substance. Give me, give me the orb. You will be, you can be in the room. I don't think it matters. Let me. Uh, and I lead him to my gunner pod, and I uh, say, could you uh, just now pass in here? I'm slightly concerned about us missing with these highly explosive. They won't in explode the middle of a spaceship in dead space. It promised me it wouldn't explode. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 souls on board. I remember not all. Um, well, I mean, I don't know if you can count uh, five fans um, souls. They're all robots anyway, so let's not tell them. 12 that. souls. I mean, there's and the orb. Oh, 12 souls. Okay, okay, buddy, sure. I'll give you the orbs. Don't worry. Okay, great. And I, I hold out my hand for the orbs. All right, I give them all but one. Okay. All right, great. Uh, I... Crack them out of their protective casing. I grab all of them, Six and I you don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I lay them all out, and I kind of one just by one they them. sort of like flicker back to life. There we go. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but for now, yeah. <laughs> Fairman, you're on the second uh, deck of the ship. You are uh, in the cruise quarters just above the gunner pod, uh, where Enzo and David are sitting. Okay. And uh, we're Anzo and David are sitting, and you uh, get a call. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I thought I was gonna call her, Agent Jeffrey. Agent Jeffrey. Okay. Um, I will take that call. I whip out my black bearberry and give it the kind of hologram. Face. You know, Fairman, I wish I could see you, you know whipping out the blackberry like you do. Is this Jeffrey speaking? Yeah. You know, you always tend to give it a sort of flourish when you do, and it's kind of funny to watch. It's practice for the sort though. I'm not joking. I I believe it. Um, you know, I, I, I sort of just, you know, have the hollow watch. It's much easier. Um, listen, I have a, a thing. Um, <laughs> the Blackberry's retro, okay, man? I have a thing. I'm going to meet you at the tech convention. Okay. Right? You're, you're still going to that, right? Indeed I am. Yeah, so I have, I have a cool thing for you. Um, he pulls out a little, uh, like, grenade-shaped object. Um, oh, what do you have there? This is a sonic grenade. Very, very powerful. Th um, thunder pulse? Definitely infused with some Thunder Pulse stuff. Um, I built it myself, and I think you'll definitely find it of good use. That's 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 good stuff, man. Uh, I'll I'll pass on the news to the to the captain. Oh, I've already given her some. She's tried them out. She loves them. I believe it. Um, that's listen, good stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll see you there. Um, she wants us to ta sort of tag team this investigation into Caliphate Studios. Okay, great. Um, I'm really excited. I was hoping I was really looking forward to getting um, some field experience with you um, and uh, you know hopefully just learning some cool learning some cool stuff I think we're, we're going to have a productive and great time together Jeffries and if we're lucky we'll get to use these she he sort of tosses it now Jeffries be careful on your way to the tech convention um, we had a little bit of a run and skirmish uh, with Caliphate Studios and they might be I don't think they noticed my allegiance uh, at no point was I wearing my uniform uh, but that being said they might know me uh, so be careful they might be hunting down uh, our agents uh, so keep a close eye try and stay stealthy on your way there oh, uh, sure don't yeah. worry about it uh, it should be fine but uh, uh, just just proceed with caution yeah yeah I got it um, no no issues no issues at all um, 
yeah. Uh, yeah, listen, um, I gotta keep, I gotta get, uh, I gotta get some work done, um, there's a, there's a thing with, um, with, uh, one of the Dukes as, uh, being a little bit of a nose, uh, a nosy guy, um, and, uh, he's, he's this, he's, he works a lot with Modern United Mining, uh, the Duke of Cordoba, he's, he's sort of being a little bit shady. Do you want me to handle it? I'm good at this kind of thing. No, 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 I got it, but I, I just gotta email him back, basically. It, it's not, not a big deal. Okay, um, just keep a keep a clear head about that. It will be fine, and then if you need to, um, uh, we can workshop this when we get to the tech convention. Fantastic. Okay. Where shall we meet? Uh, we'll meet at, in the plaza. Okay. Plaza cool. Durian. Uh, it, it, it's always held there. Uh, the, it's the big one with the horse with wings. No, I'm I'm familiar. Right next to Calvin uh, Studios. When I was course. when I was a boy, my uncle used to take me there uh, to see the Nose Tech. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. It should be a, it should be it should be fun. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, uh, Captain wants to speak to you. I was about to call her. I'll transfer her. I'll transfer you to her right now. Perfect. Uh, he swipes off. Um, she's repl he's replaced with Agent Elena Holtz. At that point, you move back to the bridge. Fancy. Uh, Anna's uh, sitting there, uh, t typing away at some stuff. Um, so, where are we going? Uh, I heard there was something about a convention on Aragon Prime. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Caliphate Studios one. Yeah, that, that's probably something about it. Yes, yeah. Um, well, you know, what, let me see. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit of research. Um, I'll uh, patch you through. And um, anything like specific you want me to look up about Caliphate Studios? Hmm. Anything you can find about reinstating the Lazarus Initiative? Yeah. Um, I was wondering what those clones are about. Yeah, let me check. Uh, she pulls up like on the hollow on the hollow computer, starts swiping through tabs. This is all old old stuff. I found oh oh uh, you see she blows something up, shoots it over to your hollow desk. It's an image of Van Zorkcloud, the original, uh, like crouching, diving behind cover, shooting some pistols. Uh, it's so familiar. It looks exactly like you. Um, exactly how you fight down to the step. When I see the image, I kind of like subconsciously reach out and look, touch at it. And um, you see, she's like scrolling through a bunch of things. She goes, can I ask you a personal question? Uh, you can ask, I'm not promising any answers. What's your number? 2703. I might know someone who can help with that. Okay. Um, can I get in contact with them? Uh, well, they're... Last I checked, we had them uh, in the back. Oh. I don't really want to go anywhere near her. She's kind of freaky. I, uh... I will let you sit in the chair if you pilot it, if you keep the ship on course. Got it. I go back. She stands up. She sits down. Um, she's like, she's just in awe at this whole scenario. And she starts like studying the hologram of you. I end by going going back to grab science hippie. Yep. Um, you guys in the uh, in the lower decks playing with the orb. I just watch him. You know, I'm pulling my phone, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, take a picture, it'll last longer. Yeah. <laughs> How are you interacting with the getting guy? I lay it all out, and I, am I seeing that web visual connection? Yes. Great. Um, and feeling like a bit stupid, uh, I go uh, just a little bit. A little bit acoustic. A little bit acoustic, slightly regarded. I go, um, are you here to talk again? Is this just like a, is this like a, can I... Can I just ask you to talk, or do I need to set up a ritual, or... Why are you both filming me? It's well, going to be funny on the internet. Okay. <laughs> We're putting it on... on, on I don't... On new, on new kind of uh, funniest on videos. Yes, yes. <laughs> Man talks to his balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like... I feel like that's clickbait, but... Okay. Um... Are you there? Okay, um... <laughs> so 
so I look around and uh, I'm getting really embarrassed now and I kind of just like put them into a pile and hold them like this. There we go. Yeah. Okay. A rumbling, deep and profound. You hear it through your entire body. You feel the uh, energy sort of surge um, like an explosion, but it's contained by you. Right. And all of them go dark. And you feel like really like energized. Hey, David. Catch. And I throw him one of the orbs. Why? I'm gonna go. I'm back to I can't her. catch my, my, my nanobots. Happen. Nanobots snatch it out of the air. Um, they don't activate their stabilizers and they don't need to. These are. Yeah, that's, I think I think I just pebbles. I think I just took the power out of them because these I'm not feeling any. Sort that's of why I kept one. There we go. <laughs> I'm not feeling any sort of response from these. I think they're. You do feel very energetic. Very similar to when I'm raging, but I'm not. Yeah. Is that a fair enough? No. 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 Oh no. no, it's a different thing. Totally it's a different, different power. It yeah. feels like it feels like you can unlock more. When okay. You rage. And I'm like, okay, um. Wow. Uh, and I, I kind of just, I, I go into a stunned sort of silence. Uh, at this point, you walk down and you see him just like looking at the thing. David Coney, like, uh, what? <laughs> and I just keep going like, and I'm just like, look at him, I'm like, goddamn ball fondlers, and I keep going. <laughs> uh, wow. Back, uh, Elena Holtz. Fair enough. Captain Holtz? How are you? Um, Captain, before you hear the news elsewhere, I must admit that we've had a bit of a, a run and a scuffle um, with Calipic Studios. Sure, sure. Um, I want you to tell me everything you learned. Yes. So, I'll start with the emergency. Not really emergency, but could become an emergency. Very well. We went to the modern United Mining Station um, that had been taken over by Calipic Studios. Yes. And we found on the computers there a tip uh, to a location in Aragon 8 um, called Taste of Herenia um, Pizzeria. Um, we also kidnapped a scientist yes. um, who has been feeding us information. Um, she's alive and well. Um, Very we well. went to the pizzeria. Um, we were dis disappointed to find that they did not serve pizza. Um, and instead was indeed a secret operating base for Calipate Studios where they were pr producing these sort of, I find it difficult to find the words for it um, in American. Um, these, in American? Yes, um, the, these, little, these little orbs, D-shaped things almost, um, they pulse, they look almost as though they're on fire and they're highly explosive. We ran into a couple of thugs who had had them installed in their necks by the scientists there. Uh, they attacked us, but when their heart rate got too high, they exploded. And from the tip that we got from some of the scientists working there and the scientists that we kidnapped, it appears as though there is a trifecta of modern United Mining, Caliphate Studios, and Knights Templar working alongside the monarchy to supply the Royal Guard with this new highly dangerous weapon. Interesting. It's called Dragon Breath. Well, um, okay, very interesting. You know, um, Agent Jeffrey is going with you to the, to the tech convention. You are still going to the tech convention. Indeed I am, it seems natural next step in our investigation into Caliphate Studios. Yes, and if we're lucky, there will be other parties involved too, Modern United Mining and Knights Templar. Indeed, maybe we can further investigate the link between the three. I indeed, that would be very, very helpful. Uh, as the more we know about what's actually going on in Iberia, the better. Uh, you can... I don't see any reason why you can't report back to your Duchess. Uh, I got the... I got a tip from the scientist we kidnapped that the entire operation into the mining station uh, that had been taken over by Caliphate may have been a trap to ensnare us, but firstly, we didn't get ensnared, and secondly, I don't know if she's a very reliable source of information. 
who? The scientists we kidnapped. Ah. Uh, so, the scientist was saying that the monarchy sent... Uh, I up. stole her hollow watch and uh, looked through some messages. She was in a group chat, I think that's what the kids call them. Sure. Um, uh, with the with representatives from Knights Templar and from Modern United Mining. They were discussing supplying the Royal Guard with these weapons that we have now found that they are developing. Uh, before you think on it any further, uh, we had to quickly exfiltrate the scene uh, when one of my travelling partners uh, alerted Caliphate Studios that we would be there. Um, we escaped uh, exploding the uh, exploding the lab uh, as we left. Uh, I don't think they saw me. Um, they, I don't know if they know I'm aligned with Thunderhawks, um, but then again, they know many things. Uh, I will personally see to it that this does not reflect badly on our agency. Do not worry. I was in disguise as a member of Caliphate Studios. They are very tight-knit. They may have noticed something. I d it is not to worry you. In fact, I will take care of it. But be... Thank you, Captain. Be cautious. Um, good luck. Uh, do look into uh, whatever trifecta is going on here between these three corporate powers, and um, you can report back to your duchess. I, d I, would, I would like to see how that goes. Interesting. Um, so this is, when I spoke with the duchess, there was some talk of a deal. I think this deal is what was being discussed, uh, providing this material to the Royal Guard. I think it's connected to Ginnon Gap in some way. And connected possibly to the, the fleet being built by Knights Templar. Indeed. I am quite nervous. It seems like something that we should stop before it ends up happening. Interesting. Is there any information that has not been made available to me that might be helpful in the face of this? <sighs> Nothing I can think of. Okay. Uh, in that case, Captain, um, oh, how's your investigation going? My investigation. Found any leads, any organizations willing to ally themselves with us? I was, um... I was halted into my investigation with the Barbary Pirates. I find their workings quite archaic, and I got nowhere after quite a long time. It, it was, I'm happy to have something else to look into. Um, Are you safe? I am 100% safe. I had to blow a couple of people's brains out. <sighs> was not fun, but... I have a... One of the people I've been traveling with, or Uber uh, driver, um, I think he's done some work for the Barbary Pirates. He knows a certain... Sandy, I think her name was. Um, maybe that could be a contact for us. Would you like me to... Captain Zandif Pelt? Yes. <sighs> Are you familiar? Are you acquainted? She tried to jump us, and we chased her off. She... <sighs> Would this contact be of any use? I mean, well, you see, tensions are high uh, between Thunderhawks and Captain Zendif. Uh, I would try to, if you do meet up with her, make it clear that it was not our intention to do any for crewmates any harm. Uh, Jeffrey's bomb worked wonders. Indeed, good to hear that it will be of use. Captain, I wish you best luck in your travels. You as well, Fairman. Good luck at the tech convention. Thank if you. Jeffrey gets too weird, let me know. He seems excited. That'd be good. That's what I'm worried about. Um, <laughs> you all sort of gather together in the, in the deck. Do I have Science City with me? Because um, I was going to get them. You get Science Hippie, you bring her here, you say something like, all right, to your places, um, tomorrow we... Yeah, we need a long rest. You need Desperately a long rest. need a long rest. Yep. You guys can all decide, like, you guys can come to a consensus. Hey, let's all take the night. You guys are all here. Yeah, I can I, top bunk. I want to see if this Science Hippie... Aaron, you keep calling science hippie. I think we're all in agreement there. I want to see if they can get through this uh, authentication field on... The, on... On Vanzor Yes. On my specific page. Okay. 
I'm going to give you that piece of information. Let me let me make sure it's valid though first before I do anything. Two rash. Uh, okay, got it. Um, yes, you um, drag her up stairs. Uh, Anna f- fumbling with the controls. Oh, ah, uh, Vance. Uh, you. Uh, Aaron looks at her and goes, Hello. What do you want? Uh, Anna, can you pull up that uh, page again, the one we had a little bit of trouble making our way into? I think our friend here might be able to assist us with that matter. Uh, are you sure? No. Okay, okay, uh, sure. Uh, she pulls it, uh, pulls the hologram down to the front, uh, puts it up. It's fun. Advanced word cloud number 2703. Aaron looks at, you, looks at you dead in the eyes and says, Are you sure you want to see this? No! She presses it, blows you up. It's you. So listing all of your details with Vega Orionica. All of your missions, all of your orders, all of your. Um, Information about where you were, where you were, wh- wh- what factory you were cloned in. Information about um, what lot number you were. The genetic coding, your entire genetic sequence is there. Um, and then status deceased. And that's where we will end this episode. Oh that no, was, he's dead. Oh, that <laughs> was no. actually such a good episode, Jack. Yeah. Well, oh, no.